Hey guys, Weekend Modder here, and uh, today we are going to do a Corona with a 16 megabyte NAND, a, a video that I've had requested a number of times by uh, several different commenters. Got a bunch of Corona 4 gig videos, but I don't have any Corona 16 megabyte NAND videos. Uh, we're going to use an Ace V3, possibly need a postfix adapter. We're going to use a NANDX to read and write the NAND. We're going to use the fiberglass scratch pin to prep the surfaces, a uh, generic set of tweezers, some flux paste, and then of course we have our NAND wires, and then if we need to reprogram the chip, we have the NANDX to chip programming cable. So uh, hang out with me and we'll get into it. Alright, so this is the console that we're going to mod, and the first thing I want to point out here is I'll show you guys the, uh, the manufacture date. Let's see if I can get the focus. So, 2012-03. So since that's significantly after the 2011-07, so July 2011 is the kind of dividing date for Corona versus Trinity. You can also see indicated here that it's got, it says 9.6A for the power supply. So 9.6A further confirms that this is a Corona. So what we'll do, so we'll go ahead and power it up, and I want to show you how I was able to tell that it's definitely a 16 megabyte NAND without having opened the console yet. Uh, let's see, Xbox screen, that's what we want. So, booting up the Xbox, we've uh, logged into Stock Dash here. What we can do is head all the way over to the settings, console settings, excuse me, storage, and then we can see that there's a hard drive in this unit, but there is not any onboard memory unit. So that tells me that this thing only has a 16 megabyte onboard NAND rather than the 4 gig onboard. If it had the 4 gig onboard, we would see another line item that would say like onboard MU uh, for that. So it's definitely a 4, or excuse me, a 16 megabyte NAND Corona. So uh, I suppose move these tools off to the side and uh, get started by opening up the console. All right, let's see here. Got a couple of cameras now, I'm trying to improve my game a little bit. Here we go. So, faceplate first. whitewash and stuff adjust pretty fast in these cameras. Leesville Gang. Um, this is the console of one Benjamin K. So, uh, I don't know. If you're Benjamin K, it's your console. Wi-Fi module out of the top. Both side plates are now off. We can remove the bottom portion of the case entirely. Next step are all the screws. Let's see. Maybe you guys could get a better view. Sorry, I know sometimes I'm putting my hand directly in front of the camera. but I think you guys could figure out. Um, so I'm not sure what Zach and Leesville are exactly asking here, but everybody gets a proof video. Not everybody gets a tutorial made out of their console. 
So uh, if you if you send in your console or you purchase a pre-modded console, everybody gets a proof video, period. Um, but that's just showing the console after it's modded. If you want a tutorial video, those I do on my own discretion based on you know what I think people will like, that sort of thing. So it's uh, it's been asked several times for me to do a 16 megabyte NAND Corona, which is why I'm doing that. Um, not not because this customer paid me to or anything. Um, in fact, they don't even know I'm doing it. I probably should have shot them a text message first, but it's nine o'clock in the morning where I'm at, so the likelihood somebody's gonna be free to be able to jump on a live stream and pay attention is uh, probably pretty low. All right, so work the faceplate ribbon loose here real carefully. And now, we have got the console opened up. So, oh, let me get the faceplate loosened here too. Usually I do the case disassembly off camera, but why not? All right, we can pull out the hard drive. Remove the fan cowling, remove the front little DVD tray, remove the hard drive caddy. And that's really all you have to pull out in order to do your RGH. These wires here, I like to just kind of tuck between so that they're out of the way like that. Now, um, here we go. The next thing to look at is the NAND headers here because there's a couple of little important bits. The R2C6 and R2C7 points you can see um, Sorry, I got distracted by the comment. Blue Mods, uh, Mr. Hines, yes, uh, we took care of that charge. Everything settled up. Your dad paid for the chargeback, so we're, we're good. Not that a live stream is maybe the best time to check on that, but whatever. Um, anyway, so what I'm pointing out here is it, it may be hard to tell, but in several of these areas, there is a resistor present. And that R2C7 right here and R2C6, on occasion, these two resistors will be missing. And if that's the case, if you actually follow this trace, this is the E and F pads right here. So if these two resistors were missing, then the E and F pads would not be receiving their signal because the trace is not complete. So if they were not already there, we would need to bridge those pads, either with a little tiny bit of wire or just a solder bridge, whatever. Um, additionally, if they were not there, that would be a good indicator that we would possibly require a post-fix adapter. Because they are here in this, this console, that tells me that there's a really strong probability we will not need a post-fix adapter. Uh, therefore, we'll double check that when we come to that, that portion of, of the, the video here. So, All right, so let's swap in camera left and get this one out of my way for the moment. All right, so the first thing is going to be using the fiberglass scratch pen to prep the surface of these pads. So I'm just... Uh, scraping off the top little layer and you can see you should be able to see and tell how much shinier those pads are versus the ones on the right so this is the one I've already prepped versus the one that I haven't it's got kind of a, a dull look to it taking off that first layer of uh, stuff will allow you to have your solder stick much more thoroughly All right, so that was, now that is prepped. 
we're going to want to put some flux paste. And then I suppose let's show you where within JRunner that the reference image is here. So um, what you could do is download the JRunner from my Weekend Modder JRunner package. Um, that JRunner has all of these images and more built into it. So if we go Images, Nandex Slim, and we go Nandex Corona install, we can get the picture here of the layout for the pads that we're going to need to hit. So these color-coded wires will exactly correspond. Is the stream working for you guys? Is it working for you guys? Am I... Is it buffering? Yeah, it looks like it's uh, it's stuttering here. The stream health says good. Stream won't load. Huh. Yeah, I see it frozen too. Um, working on it. Let's see. What do we need to do? live stream is it is it a no hmm I don't see anything else uploading <laughs> 